What up peeps? Welcome to The Gape Fix. If this is your first time watching, hey girl, hey. Thank you for taking the time out to check out this video. If you like what you see, I would love for you to subscribe, become a member of the family, and you know, all of that good stuff. So today I'm coming with a video that I've been trying to do since March of this year. <laughs> you guys, I made a list of newborn essentials in March with the intention of making this video and I'm just now getting around to it. Better late than never, right? So as you can see, I no longer have a newborn. Here's baby girl Reagan, she's almost one. Isn't that crazy? I, I can't believe that she's almost one. So yeah, I'm gonna jump right into it. I have this list of things that were essential for us and um, I figured there's probably somebody out there that's getting ready to have a baby or um, maybe it's your first one, maybe it's your fifth one and you just kind of want a refresher of some things that you need. So hopefully this will be helpful for you guys. Okay, so let's get started. These items are in no particular order because I am not organized like that. So I'm just gonna pick up things as I see them and then the bigger things I don't have in here. So um, I'll try and stick like a picture or maybe some footage of them so you can be able to see them. So very first thing I want to tell you guys about, which is something that you will probably need immediately after having the baby, is a Woomby. And you probably have never heard of it before, but it's amazing. And it's just a swaddle situation. So this is what it looks like. Well, okay, let me start off with a smaller one. Here's the, I think the infant size yeah this is the classic th zero to three month one so this is what it looks like and it's just a one piece swaddle that zips and it actually zips from the top and from the bottom so when you have to change at night all you have to do is zip up get the legs out booty out all that good stuff but um yes you guys this is a lifesaver and i discovered this when i had Chad Jr. I don't know how I discovered it. I think maybe somebody sent it to me. I don't remember, but it is the best thing ever in life. I recommend it to everybody because as we know, swaddling is the best thing for newborns because it helps them to sleep better. It makes them feel like they're back in the womb, hence the term wombie. And this one you don't even have to think about. I don't fool with swaddle blankets because I'm not trying to get the swaddle down. It's hit or miss. I don't like the ones that Velcro because they're loud at night. <laughs> if you have to try and readjust and the baby asleep you could potentially wake them up um, I, I have tried so many different other swaddlers and this is by far the best one so get you a Woomby um, I will put a link in the description box I will put links for everything that I talk about that I can find in the description box but I wanted to show you here's a bigger one this is size three to six and we moved her up to this one once she got a little bigger and once she started to kind of move because they say you are not supposed to obviously swaddle the baby when they can roll over because you know they have lim limited mobility and they may not be able to roll themselves back over so they made these with the uh, snappable openings here for their arms when they get to the point where they are rolling over you can still have them somewhat swaddled in this it's not a, a standard swaddle because you know their arms are out but it still keeps them kind of wrapped up but you can put their arms out so i'm telling you guys get a wombie they are the best thing hands down next i want to talk about a good old white onesie because you are going to need plenty of these and this is a size three month we had uh, so many newborn and so many zero to three month uh, onesies and she stayed in those for forever so definitely get you some onesies because especially if you're having a child in the colder months I had Regan in January so obviously it was in the dead of winter so I layered her I always made sure that she had a short sleeve onesie to keep her layered I'm not a big fan of long sleeve onesies uh, just because I don't know I think it's just it's too much with the long sleeve shirts and the long sleeve onesie and trying to make sure that it's not right no I don't know they just they bother me so I stick to short sleeve ones it's still another layer it's good I love onesies and you're gonna need tons of them so make sure that you have a really good stash of these in both newborn and zero to three month sizes 
Next, I want to talk about the sleepers because this is what Reagan lived in for her first two to three months here at the house. We constantly put her in sleepers and they are the zip up sleepers. The button up sleepers, they're cute. They are some really cute ones, but it's annoying when you have to change their diaper to do the buttons and the snaps and it's just easier to have zip up. So, um, yeah, this is this is obviously not one from when she was a newborn. This is a six month one that she wears now. But uh, yeah, you get the gist of it. Just making sure that they have the feet in them because here's another thing. We didn't do socks because it's just too much. Like the socks don't stay on, they don't fit right. It just doesn't make sense. So if you can get pants and um, sleepers with feet, do that because it's just so much easier to dress the baby you don't have to worry about all of the the different parts like she didn't start wearing two pieces honestly until like three months in because it's just it's just too much work i'm just not doing all of that so get you tons of zip up sleepers and um get you some pants also i don't have any newborn pants i've been decluttering so i've been giving away tons of her things so i don't have the newborn things to show you but if you're like me and you've got a lot of onesies for your baby shower, people don't think about the bottoms. Like, so I had all of these cute onesies with no bottoms. And it's like, what am I supposed to put on my child? So they actually have uh, pants with the feet in them. So it's not instead of like a whole sleeper, it's just the footed pants. So get you some of those, especially if you have tons of onesies and no bottoms, because like I said, this was the dead of winter. I'm not taking her out in just a onesie with nothing on her legs. So you're going to need those. So next you are going to need burp cloths burp cloths burp cloths and more burp cloths so definitely get you a ton of them i had tons of them and i love this one it's by aiden and anias i think that's how you pronounce it um yeah aiden and anias and i love this one i love theirs because they're super soft and they are multifunctional so this is a burp cloth obviously but then it also has snaps so that you can make it a bib for baby you just snap it in the back and it's a bib for your baby. Isn't that convenient? So you have like two in one and I am a huge fan of bandana bibs. I don't like traditional bibs. I just don't think that they're cute. So I prefer the bibs that look like bandanas. So if you get some of these, you, you know, you have a multi-purpose thing and you don't necessarily need two separate things. But these are kind of pricey, so uh, definitely get burp cloths, but make sure you have bibs also. But the bandana bibs are my favorite because they're just, they're just so cute. They're not necessarily this long. I actually have one that matches the burp cloth, but this is the bandana bib. So they just look super cute on baby. I Reagan stayed in these. I had so many different colors. I had ones that were reversible. Like they're just super convenient. So burp cloths and bibs are a must. The next thing is going to be a pacifier and these are the kind that we used and they are ma'am. M-A-M. I don't know if you can see that but this is the brand of pacifiers that work the best for Reagan. She actually has the bigger size in right now. Can I borrow? Here's the bigger size compared to the newborn size. Okay, I'm sorry. So <laughs> yeah, this is the newborn size and it was perfect for her. It stayed in her mouth. It didn't fall out. Like it was perfect. Um, I mean, obviously, if she let it go, it, it fell out. But it just it just fit well. We tried a couple different ones, and this one fit the best. Uh, these were not around, as far as I know, when Chad Jr. was uh, a baby because we used the different ones for him. But those didn't really work out for her. They were too big for her. Um, so, yeah, ma'am, or not ma'am, but M-A-M pacifiers. But there are tons of pacifiers. You want to get, I would suggest having a couple maybe like three different types just to see which ones work the best for your child because you never know. The next must have is definitely a nail file. This is one that came in a little uh, safety first kit that I had and it's just uh, super big. I like that. The grip is really big because listen, Clipping a newborn's nails are stressful. You don't want to get the skin. You don't want to be too close. You don't want to hurt them. I have 
got a little bit of skin there was a little blood i've done that with both of my kids it happens but you want to be extra cautious so um just make sure that you have a good pair of newborn fly uh newborn uh clippers and then some little small emery boards because sometimes you just are too scared to clip so it's easier to file the nail down that way you don't have to worry about accidentally clipping skin another thing that came in the um in the kit with the nail file and stuff was a thermometer we didn't use the thermometer that came in the kit because we prefer uh this one this is one that we used with chad jr and it's it's nothing fancy it's just a vix digital thermometer and here it is and then it comes with like a case but um yeah this has been our favorite it's super quick it reads temperature super quick and then it lights up so you know green if you're good yellow if you're kind of borderline and then red if you have a fever so you don't have to worry about is this fever is that not a fever it also tells you it's digitally so it reads the number but then it lights up the color also so we really love this one we do have a couple other thermometers i have a thermometer that um you slide from you know the middle of your forehead to the side of the forehead that worked really well also because this one to get the best reading you have to use in the bum which is not necessarily the, the most fun thing but they say that the ones that you use there are the most accurate but we do have one that you also just put over the forehead which is super convenient and i didn't bring it up here but i will link it down below gripe water oh my goodness this stuff is amazing and it is by mommy's bliss and here it is and then they also have they have this original and then they also have a nighttime and we had both of them so if you're unfamiliar gripe water is basically for like gas and fussiness and i think constipation or not constipation colic or hiccups you can give them gripe water and it definitely like it within no time it takes those symptoms away it is a lifesaver okay and the nighttime one tends to make them a little sleepy so it helps out a lot but they have the original daytime also hands down we swear by our gripe water we did with her and with chad jr so get you some another essential is diaper rash cream because you never know when something is going to irritate baby um so we use boudreaux's butt paste and this is the natural formula but there's also like an original formula and a maximum strength formula we've used them all we love them all it works super fast you put this on her by the next time it's time to change her it's looking better so um, and if we put it on at night when she wakes up in the morning most of the time it's gone so um this is essential and she hasn't had very many diaper rashes at all maybe like two but chad jr had a lot more and we used it a whole lot with him but um yeah i we just love it like this uh natural one is good because it's natural ingredients it has uh, aloe and it's paraben and preservative free so yeah get you some diaper rash cream boudreaux's butt paste so the next things that i want to show you are um some soaps and lotions that i used on baby girl and here's the thing I know that we all want our babies to have that classic, you know, smell good and all of that. So I made sure that I was stocked up on my very favorite, um, which is Shea Moisture Baby. Uh, here's their wash and shampoo. And then here is the lotion. And it's the frankincense and myrrh scent. And it smells amazing. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing oh it's like the best thing ever it smells really good so i made sure that i was stocked up on this they also have they have like three different types i think they have another one that i really like too it's in teal packaging i can't remember the specific name of it but those are my favorites so i made sure that i was stocked up i already knew what i was going to use on her and then i found out that she had a little bit of eczema and it just wasn't wasn't working right with her skin so then i had to go out and get fragrance free things for her because you know the doctor was like you need something without fragrance without this without that so uh go and you know see what's out there and pick something and what i found was mustela 
This is the brand that I really, really like. And this stuff right here, emollient cream. And it's like a liquid texture. They say fluid texture because you put it on and you're like, eh, let me show you. Let me see if I can show you what the, the kind of like the, what the texture is of the cream. This one is actually cold. So this is thicker, but it feels like... It's not super thick like lotion. It kind of has the feeling of like water to it. But it was amazing. When I put it on her, her skin like soaked it up immediately. And I could tell a difference in the eczema. Like the eczema got better the more I used it. Like she had, you know, bumps and was red and all types of stuff. And when I first started using this like two or three times she was good and um you know i continued to use it obviously but this stuff is the bomb.com so i also got the um this is a body lotion also uh, i grabbed the body lotion instead of the soap the soap's in the bathroom i'm not getting up and going to the bathroom but it has a pump like this also it's just got red writing i should have known when i picked this up but it's the fragrance free um like gel and that's what I used to bathe her in and then I followed it up with a cream and I did it twice a day and her eczema cleared up super quick so yeah I highly recommend that you have the good smelling stuff and then also just have a set of free and clear um stuff because you just never know what the skin is going to do or if there's going to be eczema so that way you don't have to go out and get it you already have it next thing let's see is the nose frida and i don't know if you've ever heard of this but it's basically the same thing as like a nasal bulb uh you put this in in the um baby's mouth and then you take this and you suck out all of the boogers i know it sounds really nasty but trust me it works like a charm okay you just put it in there and suck like that's it and then it's that like it's not coming in your mouth let me tell you that right now it's not coming in your mouth so don't don't get carried away because it has like a a stopper here so this catches all you know some of well this is what kind of stops it all of the snot is kind of collected in here and um, you can change these it comes with a whole like pack of these that they come out you just throw these out pop a new one in there and you know rinse this out thoroughly but this is so so easy don't get me wrong the buff syringes do work well but i found that this works even better so i want what's going to work the best because it's annoying when your baby has a lot of mucus and you want to get it out as quickly as possible because nine times out of ten they're not interested either so this is super quick sucks it right on out and they're good to go so i uh breastfed reagan so i want to show you the pump that i had and i had the Medela freestyle this is the pump that i used and i love this thing i used the Medela pump in style with chad jr so it was a little uh a little bigger it's kind of like a, a square or a rectangle situation and here's the the cords that go with it um this just goes in there and then here are the parts that go into the I don't know the breast part names but y'all know what I'm talking about but I do really like this now if I had to go back I would try the um it's another one that I've seen. The Spectrum. It's like a bigger size. It's uh, a lot more quiet. Because this isn't that quiet. Like this is my my one gripe about this. Is that it's not very quiet. But you need a breast pump if you're breastfeeding. Well you may not need a breast pump. But if you plan on going back to work. And you need to start stockpiling. Then you will need a breast pump eventually. And um, maybe you just you know want to start feeding with a bottle but yeah it's just it's just not as quiet as I would like it to be like I'll let you hear it that's not quiet uh <laughs> now it is a little bit more quiet than in my last one I think but it's still not it's not that quiet so if I had to do it again I would research and find one that was seriously quiet because I think they say that it's quiet but this now come on 
Y'all know this ain't why. But it's a good one. It's reliable. Like, I love it because it's freestyle, so you can be hands-free. You don't have to be sitting there holding anything. They have this clip on the back. So all you have to do is, like, I would clip it to my pajama pants or my jeans throughout the day. And then I would use my Medela hands-free bra, which is another must-have. Because who wants to be sitting there holding you know bottles and breast pumps and things like all you do is put this on you stick the things through there and hook them up to this put this on your your uh jeans or your pants and you're good to go like hands free all hands free everything it just makes it so much easier one thing i will say about the breast pump is that most health insurances cover breast pumps so make sure you check with your insurance to see if you qualify to get a free one i got this for free there's another reason why i never got the other one to try it i wanted to try the spectrum but i was like this one works and it was free we'll stick with it but um yeah definitely check with your insurance because you could qualify to get a free breast pump next is pretty much obvious but i would be remiss if i didn't say it but i have to say it you are gonna need a ton of wipes and a ton of diapers, okay? A ton. <laughs> you can never have enough. Like literally, you can never have enough. You're gonna be using these for the first two years at least of your child's life. And we absolutely love the Pampers brand of wipes and we love the Pampers Swaddlers. These are the only diapers that we have ever used. We used them with Chad Jr., we've used them with Reagan, and we've loved them. So, uh, excuse you, girl. So definitely, get you a diaper that you love. Now, of course, I'm gonna tell you to get the Swaddlers. They fit the best for newborns, in my opinion. Um, they're just like, completely, like they're just, they're so tiny, and they're just made to fit them so perfectly. So, um, and they're also the ones that they're probably giving you at the hospital. So I would stick with the Pamper Swaddlers. Um, if you have another diaper that you, you know, you rock with, go for it. But you should at least try the Swaddler just to see what you think about it. Um, it was great for us. So now I'll get into some of the bigger things. And the first is this Boppy. This is a lifesaver and this is the boppy lounger this is not the typical boppy that is like a half moon like a you know half circle situation i never used that with her um i had one but it just i didn't really need to prop her up i was perfectly okay like feeding her in my arm or just with like a regular pillow i didn't necessarily need it but this was a lifesaver when it came time to set her down because it just snuggled her up. You set her in it. You didn't have to worry about it. Like with Chad Jr., I used the the regular boppy, the half, the half, you know, circle, and it was hard. I'd be trying to like prop him up on the couch, and but this, they didn't have these. I don't believe uh, this is, is great because you can just stick them in there. And we used this well after she was a newborn. Get you a boppy lounger. It is the most convenient thing if you're like sitting on the couch, wherever you're sitting, the couch, the floor, the bed, you have the baby right next to you, comfortably sitting right there. It is the best thing ever, I love it. Next, I have um, a quality diaper bag. So, I have the um, freshly picked diaper bag. This is my diaper bag of choice. This is actually the second the third diaper bag that I have carried though. I do recommend getting one that is a backpack because it's just easier to stick it on your back and go about your day. Like I'm all about hands free these days, especially when you're trying to carry a newborn and you got strollers and car seats and all of that jazz. Get you a quality diaper bag, one that's big enough for everything that you need to tote around and one that's comfortable. I actually have a separate video of like what's in my diaper bag because I do have some pretty uh, key essentials in here as well. So I'll link that video, you can check it out and see you know, what I think is necessary to have in your diaper bag. But um, yeah, like I said, I went through two before I settled on that one and that one's the best one. So you know, kind of try them out a little bit and see what works best for you. But you're gonna need a quality diaper bag, hands down. The last big thing that I have that I actually have in here to show you is my carrier. And I got so many questions about what carrier I was using with her. 
and it is the happy baby carrier you guys and it is my favorite and I've used a lot of carriers <laughs> my favorite this thing is awesome and um, what I love about it is that it doesn't sit so low like I with Chad jr. I use the ergo baby and the ergo baby is great but it's just so big and bulky and it sits so low on your hips and this one does not this one you put like this and you know baby goes here obviously and then you just like this is it so look at all of it like this is you know the middle of my abdomen so all of this space I can sit down freely I can jump I can move like I can do everything with her attached to me and I don't have to feel restricted so I love the happy baby and you can also wear her you know you can also wear the baby on the back also um, Oh, and you know what? I forgot I have another carrier that I used in the beginning stages when she was like infant, infant. Here's the other one that I had, and it's by Happy Baby also. It's the Happy Baby, um, oh, where did that tag go? It's their Happy Baby, um, wrap. And it's got a little tag there, but I, I actually use this one way more than I used this one in the beginning so this is like true true for a newborn if you want something that's a little more heavy duty you can use this in the newborn stage but I probably use this more after she got to be about like three months um, but I would just wrap her and I would wear her constantly wherever we went I wouldn't fool with the stroller I would just take her out of her car seat and I would just wear her and um, it was it was a lifesaver I would wear her around the house when we were out I even took her to the movies uh, she went to see Black Panther with us and she was wrapped up in this happy baby wrap it is the best um, the best one that I have found because I have tried a couple different wraps and I just really like this one I just like the brand so check out um, their classic wraps and then check out their um, happy baby carriers because they're they're both really awesome you don't need them both but uh, it is great to have some type of a carrier because um, you know babies like that that like skin to skin or just just being close so um, I highly recommend some type of carrier um, just to keep them close to you yeah I have to keep <laughs> stopping with baby girl just fit her okay so now I'm going to talk about for real the things that I don't have actually right here but also things that we loved first of all the Kiko key fit 30 was the car seat that we used it was amazing we used it with Chad jr. we used it with Reagan it was by far our favorite we love the Kiko brand and we um, love how convenient it is because it, it you you buy a like it comes with a base so all you have to do is install the base in your car clip it in there and you push one little button and it lifts right out like seamless okay so I highly recommend getting multiple bases if you have multiple cars that way you don't have to worry about like switching out you just have a base in each car and it goes from one to the other seamlessly now uh, before we got her big girl stroller we uh, just had the Kiko um, I don't know what it's called I, let me look caddy frame stroller so we bought the caddy frame stroller at first when I saw it I was like that is really cheap I bet you it's gonna perform crappy but it was so dope like literally it took one hand to open it and all you do is like pop the car seat in there just like you pop it in the base so we used that for the longest time but before I decided what type of big girl stroller I wanted for her we then um, we upgraded to the upper baby cruise and I absolutely love that stroller it's the cutest thing I got a pink one because it's all girly and I researched that thing forever because it is not cheap I researched it and researched it to make sure that that's what I wanted and eventually we switched her to that now had I known that's what I wanted I could have gotten that in the beginning and not got the Kiko um, 
caddy uh, because I think that they have adapters you can buy that will make the upper baby cruise work with the car seat but I didn't know that that's what I wanted so um, that's why we had the caddy first and because it's it's pretty inexpensive you can do that if you're still kind of debating on what type of stroller you really want in the end um, you can start there and work your way up without like wasting a bunch of money but let me look at my list because I want to make sure that I have not forgotten anything uh, tch -tch. oh her bassinet how did I forget that we had the halo bassinet and when I tell you it was amazing it's amazing I'm getting ready to give it to my friend she's pregnant now and it's it's so dope it um it swivels so you know you can turn it like 360 it swivels and then also you can um it has like a soft side so you know it's, it sits right next to the bed so it was right next to my side of the bed like literally like touching the bed and you know to like get the baby you have to reach in and get the baby the side bends down so you don't have to do all of the extra it is just so convenient it has like a vibrating setting it has music it has a night light it is amazing and they also have a newborn insert because I used her I used it for her in the beginning and um, I just I found that she would just be moving a lot so I bought the newborn insert bless you I bought the newborn insert to go on the inside and it, it basically keeps them in this little mold uh, just big enough for their body and she used that until she outgrew it and was starting to roll and things like that so I just took it out but the halo bassinet is by far the best thing I did have a little small bassinet that can sit in the bed with you I can't remember the name of it I think like I think it was by swaddle me um, I have that also but I really didn't use it that much I used it in the beginning uh, when she would be napping I would like have it on the couch next to me and I would lay her in that while she was napping but it didn't last very long I never used it at night because I prefer to have the baby outside of the bed um, I just I don't know I just don't feel comfortable with a baby being in the bed with me even if it's in a, a little portable you know bassinet situation I just like having a bassinet right there that's close enough okay uh, so yeah I had it and it was cool um, but yeah I, I would recommend the halo bassinet hands down before any other bassinet last two things diaper genie because you need a diaper genie your baby is going to have some less than desirable smelling diapers and you need something to put it in that's going to trap all of that smell and it's not going to stink up your house so get you a diaper genie we use the diaper genie expressions and we actually have two we have one for the upper level and one for the lower level in our house and it's a lifesaver i definitely recommend that you get one for each level of your house too so you don't have to be like running to different places to you know dispose of the diaper but you need a diaper genie some type of diaper bell diaper pail but really the diaper genie is the best one in my opinion and then the very last thing that um, we loved was the portable swing it is a lifesaver you are going to at some point need a baby swing because <laughs> babies they cry and they're you know sometimes hard to get to sleep and that constant motion is just sometimes it's just necessary so we found one I started off with the mama Roo, and I do not recommend that at all save your money don't get it I should have listened to the countless people that told me it's not worth it the mama Roo is not worth it okay um, so don't get that just get a regular decular swing <laughs> that's all you need is a regular swing and we were fortunate enough to find one that was portable like it set up like this tall off of the ground and you could like you know pick it up and sit it in the back of the car we took it to grandmommy's house or we took it to great you know to nana's house like it was still a swing but it wasn't like a big massive gigantic swing and i think that that was the reason why i went with the mama Roo in the first place because it it didn't look as big and bulky as a normal swing but the portable joint i don't remember who it's by i'm actually gonna have to 
check, uh, do some research. I think I gave it away in the decluttering. It was amazing and it had music and it had a little thing that went over them to, with bears hanging down. What's that thing? I don't know what it, what it Mo mobile it had like a little mobile attached to it but um yeah it was awesome and um uh, yeah you're gonna need a swing skip the mama room and thank me later uh <laughs> so i think that that's it you guys uh i feel like i covered a ton of products and hopefully i didn't leave anything out if i left anything out i'll probably put it in the list down below thank you so much for watching if you have any questions you know what to do you can always leave those down below if you are thinking about a specific product and you want to know if i used it or if i had thoughts on it you can you know definitely ask me that i will let you know and um yeah you guys as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye you want to say bye you want to say bye say bye bye Wait, bye-bye. <laughs> bye, guys.